Till now we have seen the lecture of DNA damage. Then we also discussed about DNA oxidation, how DNA gets oxidized. And now it's time to get on to the DNA repair mechanisms. You can see in this diagram we have a normal DNA molecule having two strands 5 dash, 3 dash and 3 dash, 5 dash, both strands running opposite to each other. And when this DNA molecule is getting damaged by exogenous factors that are the external factors or it's getting damaged by endogenous factors like replication errors. So altogether, both exogenous factors as well as endogenous factors damage the DNA easily. So when there is presence of damaged DNA within the cell, the cell kicks in the DNA repair mechanisms in order to repair the DNA damage. First of all, let's see what kind of DNA repair mechanisms are present within the cell. Direct reversal repair is the first repair mechanism. Single strand repair mechanism is the second one. And third one is the double strand repair mechanism. All the three repair mechanisms can be driven within the cell depending upon the kind of damage. In prokaryotes, we see direct reversal method is also prevailing there, but there is another method there that's called SOS repair method that's prevalent in prokaryotes, whereas the single strand repair and double strand repair is mostly present in eukaryotes. Now let's have a look on these three mechanisms separately. We see the first repair method is the direct reversal method. As the name suggests, it's a kind of repair system where the damage to DNA is reversed and we get back to the normal DNA as it was before the damage. We just reverse the process. Here the damaged area or lesion is repaired directly by specialized proteins in our body. It's the simplest form of DNA repair and also the most energy efficient method. This direct reversal method does not require reference template to get the DNA fixed unlike other mechanisms which require another template to get the DNA fixed. Moreover, it does not also involve the process of breaking the phosphodiester backbone of the DNA. The most two common methods of direct repair mechanism are photoreactivation and alkylation. Both the mechanisms will be discussed in separate lectures. Then we get on to single strand repair mechanism. In this kind of mechanism, the DNA gets repaired which has one strand damaged only. The other strand can be used as a template to guide the correction of damaged strand. In that category, we have three mechanisms in it. Base excision repair, second one is nucleotide excision repair, third one is mismatch repair. All the three will be discussed in the other part of the video. Now let's see the third type of repair mechanism that is double strand repair mechanism which is the repair of those strands which have double breaks that is DNA is damaged on both strands these are particularly lethal to the cell because they can lead to the genome rearrangements because both the strands are involved here in the damage it has also got three types homologous recombination is the first one non homologous end joining is the second one and the third one is micro homology mediated and joining. So these are the three basic mechanisms, repair mechanisms that exist within the cell when there is a damage in DNA. So this was just a brief overview of DNA repair mechanisms. In the next part of the video, we will be discussing the direct reversal method in detail. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.